Welcome to the Tennis Warehouse Racket Review of the Head Prestige Classic 2.0. Just as Head did with the release of the Pro Tour 2.0, they have reimagined another iconic model with this Prestige Classic 2.0. This version features a buttery smooth 61RA flex rating, comes in at 12.3 ounces strong and features a 9 points headlight balance. The swing weight is a manageable 328. A full cap grommet and a leather grip round out this racket's Prestige credentials. I grew up playing the Prestige Pro 600, so this racket was really close to my heart. And I got to hit a couple of prototypes before the final version got dialed in, and I think Head have absolutely nailed the spec of this racket. It offers that smooth, buttery feel I expect from a Prestige that I get from my Prestige Pro 600, but the ball has more core penetration, more plow through power, something I would expect out of an I Prestige. So I'm getting the pop of something like that but with the feel of the really classic Prestige Pro 600. So I love this racket. I'm actually switching to this one. I'm hitting my forehand really well with it, hitting my backhand, my volleys, everything just feels dialed in. Even my bad days get better when I put this racket in my hands. So uh, it's been rock solid for me, really enjoying just that solid feel and then the whippiness that only a mid gives you. So I've got the weight of a heavy racket, but I can really whip it through, get my one working nicely, hit all the angles I want to hit and be creative. So uh, obviously a very plump, fun play test for me and really looking forward to my future with this racket. As a player growing up in the 90s, this racket is super nostalgic. Many of the players that I grew up lusting over and loving to watch played with this at one time or another in their career. And many of them are big hitters that I idolize and kind of crafted my game around similar playing styles. So to be on this play test, I instantly went to Wayne's World and thought I'm not worthy. However, I was super blessed to get to hit with this racket. What I love about it, it's an approachable racket even in today's game. Even though it is a smaller head size, it felt like a big sweet spot, super comfortable. The plow through, it was great. It's not super high or demanding in the high 330s. It's very manageable, easy to swing fast around the ball. Nice and thin, buttery beam. Not my personal beam width of choice. I do prefer rackets that are a bit stiffer, a bit thicker a little bit more easy power. This one had all the control though and it was very fun and again I just keep going back to it's an iconic racket, super nostalgic and a fun one to be play testing. Here today with the Prestige Classic 2.0. This is Head's update to an old school racket. I really love this racket, enjoyed the play test. Obviously, what about a 12.3 ounce strong weight, you're getting plenty of mass based power, no complaints on stability. Obviously, the precision is there for you with a tight 18 main and a 93 score inch hoop, so you got a definitely a low launch angle. If there's any trouble that I had with this racket, it would be relative to a round string. I just get the low launch angle as soon as I put something like the 17 gauge Lynx Tour in there, something with an edge, I get a little better launch angle and easier bite on the ball. But this racket was just great from any portion of the court. Obviously, a beam width of about 19.5 millimeters is basically going to chew up vibration and kick out all the comfort you could ever ask for out of a racket. So all, all in all, I've just been on these rackets, uh, heavier ones. This one, again, my favorite shot to hit with was probably uh, my serve, but anywhere from the backcourt, backhand slice, top spin was pretty easy, again, with an edgy string uh, to come by. But overall, just a fantastic racket, great play test. First thing I noticed play testing this uh, remake of a classic head midsize racket right here is just the all out, um, just pure control feel precision. Um, the specs of this racket, as far as the weight, um, swing weight, really not far off from what I would typically play with. And I do have a history of using um, some 95 square inch head size rackets with a, a dense 1820. So um, really didn't feel like I had to would adjust uh, that much for being such a, uh, a classic spec, but really just love the, uh, the pure feel, comfort, plushness, some things that uh, the other play testers touched on from the baseline and really up at the net with a classic racket like this, you just feel really dialed in, really connected, and it just has that really um, just a uniquely um, comfortable, smooth feel on contact. I felt like I could put the ball where I wanted. Um, from the baseline, uh, I wouldn't say it's the most forgiving racket, obviously being this midsize. So I kind of um, tended to try to flatten the ball out a little bit on my forehand, maybe a little less loop in low to high from the baseline, a little flatter drive. And on the backhand, I was really utilizing the slice more often than not, just really knifing the ball, 
filling connected, filling dialed. And when it came to serves, I really was utilizing the, uh, the flat first serve. I felt like I got good plow through power, the mass behind the ball. I would say spin serves, maybe not the most forgiving, but the more I hit with it, the more I felt dialed and really felt like I could place the ball. And I think uh, overall for being a classic frame, this is definitely a viable option for the modern player. Uh, for those really looking for that control, fill and precision. For this review, we tried a variety of strings, uh, but mostly some uh, thinner gauge copolys. We went with the Head Links Tour, uh, Hawk Touch, as well as the Head Links and the 18 gauge for today, and strung it at 48 pounds. For more information on this racket or anything else tennis related, be sure to head to Tennis Warehouse, Tennis Warehouse Europe, or Tennis Only.